What's up, David? This is uh, Tyrez, Preacher T. Hey, Preacher T. How's it going? How you been? Pretty good, man. Trying to catch up with you. Yeah. How you been? Pretty good. Pretty good. I seen you drop. Good, good, good. I seen you drop the comment on the YouTube page. I'm actually streaming live right now. Is that okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, Hold man. On a sec. Yeah, to turn up the volume. It's uh, I wish it was louder. Is that a little better for you? I gotta turn up the the volume boost. Okay, yeah, what's good? Yeah, man, I just, you know, I like to try to ask everybody two questions. I like to do the salvation yes, survey. Yes, yes, You want to take it real quick? Yeah, ask, ask away. All right, so the first question, man, is uh, do you know for sure if you will be in heaven when you die, man? Absolutely, 100%. All right, and the uh, second question is why? Why should God let you into heaven? Because of what Jesus did on the cross for all my sins. Okay, and what did he do? Tell me about it. He had to stay a little longer for a day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, tell me, so what did he do for you? Well, he was, uh, he was pierced, his hands, his side, his feet, and, uh, the third day he rose again from the dead. The same thing he did so we can all be able to stand in the presence of God and, li and live eternally. And another way of looking at it is his righteousness for our sins. In other words, when he went to the cross, he took our sins and he gave us his righteousness. Yes. All right. And how do you receive so, that? And how so, do you receive that righteousness, man? Well, this is how you receive that. You confess God. You confess that Jesus is Lord. You believe that God rose him from the dead on the third day. And you ask him. And you, and you live... And, and, and you, yeah, you believe basically, and accepting. And when he gives you the Holy Spirit, he gives us, as a Christian, born again Christian, he gives us the gift of salvation. We are now children of God. Amen, Dave. Amen. So, so we're no longer out there doing the things that glorify the flesh. So, there's a lot of people out there doing. Uh, walking, in walking in the flesh and like the, like the word of God says you'll know them by your their fruits you'll know that that is not a fruit of the Holy Spirit all right so there, yeah there's a few nuggets right there what about you yeah so ultimately you got to believe the full gospel man and uh, it's, it's real simple yeah. Jesus wept and he went into his own people. They received him not. That's according to John 1 11. His own received him not. Oh, hold on. I and, can't uh, hear two people. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So, 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 ultimately, so ultimately. Well, the, part of the gospel is, first of all. Well, real Jesus quick, let me wept. finish. Let me finish that real quick. So, go Jesus, ahead, Jesus wept. He died on the cross for our sins and he was buried. And he rose on the third day and he was seen alive. Uh, Jesus is God the Father. He's God Almighty. So, that's what you need to believe. And uh, again, his own received him not. Well, you see, I don't know. You have a fabulous way of saying what I just said. I, I don't know if you were listening or if the mic went out, but you know, I, I did actually just say that. No, I got you. It was it was certain parts in there you did say. I will say that, yeah. But it was just that the full well, have gospel. You read, have you read Romans ten nine through thirteen? Definitely, yeah. And because it says you might uh, want to look at that again. Is what I'm saying because I just I just basically said the whole thing. Except well, for the third chapter thirteen, all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. All right. Well, let me let me definitely go there, and uh, I wanted to give yeah, you. And there's also John three sixteen. All right, real quick. Uh, First Peter three fifteen, right? Because that's why that's why I asked those questions. I wanted to start there. I don't just want to charge you up because it says here that, uh, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks of you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. So we're supposed to be able to give that answer quick with meekness and fear 
and be, you know, and we, we want to share that hope that's within us. So Romans 10, let's go there real quick. Um, let me get, I'm, I'm on my app too, my King James. Romans 10. Uh, so yeah, I, and let me just read a few of these. So Romans 10, 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be, shall be saved. Amen. But it goes on to say, how then shall they call on him? And whom they have not believed. So you write in terms of believing from the heart and confessing with your mouth, but the confession doesn't save you. That's just you confessing what you believe because God looks on the heart. Romans 10, man believeth unto God from the heart. So that's why it says that how then, how then should they call on him in whom they have not believed? It goes back to belief. So uh, in, uh, in Romans 15, uh, I'm sorry, Romans, uh, 1 Corinthians 15 the gospel is declared. It says that, and you know, he was buried after he went to the cross, paid for the sins, and he was, and he rose on the third day, and he was seen alive. So the gospel was declared to the believer on what it is, and then it's also preached in Acts 13. That the full gospel is preached in Acts 13 that his own received him not, and that he went to the cross for that reason because he was ready to bring the kingdom to them, and they rejected him. So he went to the cross, paid for the sins of the whole world. And then he says in Acts 13, 38, that by him, all that believe are justified from all things and that he was preached for the forgiveness of sins. So that's why it's real quick and simple. We don't have to ask for forgiveness. It's just about believing the report of the gospel. And that's what Romans 10 go back to. Who have believed our report? It says, uh, how, how, how then, how, uh, let me go to it. Uh, it says, uh, but, but they have not all obeyed the gospel for Isaiah said, Lord, who have believed our report? See that? So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So it's that, so it's that simple. It's just that full gospel is that, that's what I believe on. And that's what, that's what we're saved by. So he hung up. So, Hey man, he heard right when I finished preaching that truth, he hung up and, uh, I guess he was afraid of me telling him the full gospel. Uh, all right. We're going to keep preaching.